What's up gang, John Rubio here. I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks and the reason for that is twofold. One is I had to spend some time redoing this room. I used to have a bunch of bookcases on that other side of the room. Those are all gone, I moved everything out. This room was a mess for about 20 days and it was hard to record a show in here and much more difficult to set up video equipment in here as well. So video production kind of faltered on that and it had, the timing happened pretty well because I also had some really bad allergies. Seasonal allergies here in Austin are fucking terrible. Cedar was going crazy, it was off the charts, and my throat really suffered for it. I ended up on the verge of losing my voice for about two weeks solid. It was a bad thing. Luckily, we had our little vacation from the show at around that time, so actually making the podcast didn't suffer, but this did, and I apologize for that. Well, on to the video. This video is a bit different than the ones that I usually make. I'm, I've been doing unboxing videos for quite a while. This one centers on the stuff that I think is essential to take to any bottle share. But the first thing I want you to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and subscribe to the Beerists Podcast. It's our weekly tasting show that we record here in Austin, Texas. We taste five beer, there are four of us, and we talk about our experiences tasting the beer and give you our recommendations on whether we think you should buy, try it, sigh at that motherfucker, or you know, kick it into the fire and watch it die. So yeah, look for the Beerists Podcast on your favorite podcast app, and uh, let's get right to this thing. Any bottle share you go to, whether you're hosting it or it's being hosted by somebody else, you should always have certain things with you. Never assume that anybody's going to have any of these things already there. Now, when packing for a bottle share, I always start with my cooler because I want to have cold beer to share with friends. Even though I might not serve it cold, I might take it out of my cooler to warm up for about 10, 20 minutes before I serve it. I still want it to be cold when it gets there. And for that, I have my cooler. It's a really small, uh, soft cooler. I prefer the soft body coolers than the traditional hard case coolers. And that is because I keep this in my car. I can take this anywhere at any time. Sometimes it comes in handy when I go to the store to buy you know, fresh fish or meat. I can pack those things in here and keep it cool. And it doesn't take up very much space. Because it's soft, you can crunch it down and stick it in a corner and you know unfold it when it's time to use. But if I'm going to a bottle share, I load this thing up with beer. It doesn't carry all that much. Usually when I go to a share, I have maybe five to seven beers in here. And uh, I always also have cold packs in this thing. Okay. I'm not sure how this thing opens right now. I usually open it from the other side. But yeah, I carry some cold packs in here usually that I've kept in the freezer overnight and I put all my beer in here, arrange it with cold packs. I leave some room for my glass that I always wrap in these uh, in these bags. They're those long bags that they stuff bottles into at the store so they don't clank around and break. I wrap my glass in those too. And we'll be seeing more about those uh, bags in a second. But yeah, I, I always have a glass in here. Sometimes I have some spare glasses if they fit. For people who show up, you, you never know when somebody's gonna show up and not be prepared. You should always take your own glass to a bottle share. And if you have some extras lying around, take some for others that will forget, because they will. And like I said, I usually have beer in here. and. I do have a, a Live Oak Hefeweizen in here too. It's one of my favorite locals. I love this thing and I'm gonna drink a little bit while I talk to you, cause hell yeah, beer's delicious. It's one of my favorite Hefeweizens in the world. Yes. Mm, so good. So here's my case. In here as well, I carry several essentials. Bar mops, you need bar mops. These have been used for maybe a year, so they're not uh, as pristine as they were when I bought them. They have some light staining, but they are clean. And uh, I will 
actually take them to the bottle share and if they don't get used, I'll just leave them in there. And if they do get used, I'll bring them home and throw them in with a laundry and uh, use them again next time. You can find these real cheap at restaurant supply stores in packs of 50, 75, or 100 usually, and I get mine on Amazon. They're pretty damn cheap, so I tend to go through and use them as necessary. They will wear and tear very quickly. They're not meant for, you know, keeping long term. So as they start to degrade, I will throw them out and eventually get through the whole pack and I'll reorder them once, you know, I'm running low. They're not that expensive. So it's something that I don't mind reordering once every few years. And they come in super handy. The next thing that I like to have, remember I was mentioning these bags that I wrapped the glass in. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. Ah, super good. Okay, so I carry a stack of these. I got a bundle of like 500 of these on Amazon. You might not need that many. They are real cheap. You can buy 500, it's not gonna break the bank, but if you buy a, a bundle of these of 500, you can pass them out to friends that also go to lots of bottle shares or carry other things in them. But I always like to have a stack of these handy in this pack for when people, you know, maybe leave glasses behind. I can rewrap them. I can rewrap my glass and several other glasses if I want to so that they don't get damaged in transit. I don't want glass breaking in this thing or in my car trunk. I want to keep those things safe. So these come in very handy. The other thing that comes in handy is I have this little kit. Um, this is a Maxpedition little zipper pack that I found on Amazon that I carry several essentials in and I always keep this thing in here. So it's always with me whenever I travel. So what's in here are several things that I think are important, like a cheese knife. You need a cheese knife at a bottle share. Somebody's gonna bring cheese and they're always gonna forget the knife. Nobody ever brings a knife. You're the one that's gonna have one. Great little cheese knife. This is a little French butter knife that I found that was, I think I got it at Goodwill for like nothing. So awesome. Another thing, markers. Great thing about these Sharpies is that if you have several people at a bottle share and they all have the same glass or similar glassware, or if you're pouring, like doing a curated pour, or you're doing all the pouring or somebody's doing all the pouring and needs to remember whose glass is whose, you can write on glass with your Sharpie and put your name on it and it's gonna come off in the wash. Whenever you wash the glass, the Sharpie comes right off. It's not gonna ruin anything and it's a great way to differentiate your glass from others that are just like it. So I carry two of those because one of them gets lost. I have a whole bunch of them downstairs and I always have two with me. The other thing is a simple, cheap bottle opener. People always forget their bottle opener. Uh, you're probably gonna forget this at some point, so it's gotta be cheap. This is uh, indispensable. Another thing is a uh, nice corkscrew. I always carry a corkscrew with me because you'll always have somebody that brings a beer that has been corked and you need to get through that thing. If you don't have a corkscrew, that beer's not gonna get open. So always have your corkscrew. This also has a little knife attached to it, which is kind of cool. I do love this corkscrew. I'm gonna have links to all of this stuff if you wanna buy the same stuff in the description below. But yeah, this corkscrew is awesome. And the other thing is a knife. You always should have a knife with you. A real knife, a utility knife, your everyday carry knife. Uh, I have one specific that I carry in this pack. It's not an expensive knife, but it is a good knife. And uh, you'll be surprised when this comes in handy. Another thing I always like to have is a lighter. You know, people smoke, people will forget lighters. You're gonna be the person that has that lighter so you can light their cigarette or, you know, sometimes other things might come up where fire is necessary and you got one. And the last thing I always carry, spare cash. There are a couple of pockets back here, so that's where I keep a little bit of spare cash just in case you always wanna tip the wait staff if you're doing your bottle share at a bar. If you're in one of the states that allows it in a bar that allows it, you can do it there. You have to pretty much just ask the people that own the bar, the people that run the bar, if that is okay. But 
You should always have money so you can tip your bartender. Not everybody carries cash with them all the time, so you got everybody covered there. And aside from that, the last thing that I always take with me, and I don't have any uh, example of that here, is a little bit of food. Some chips, some cheese, something for people to munch on to get a little bit of their appetite suppressed. You know, you're gonna be drinking a lot of beer, you need something in your stomach, it's gonna help out with everything. Water, bottle of water in here as well. Uh, good hydration, I tend to like to drink a single serving of beer to every two servings of water. So if I'm drinking a sample of two ounces of beer, I wanna offset that with four ounces of water. Doing that is my best insurance for not having a hangover the next day. And it also keeps me somewhat sober because if uh, you know I have to function later on, if I'm going to do something with my girlfriend after the bottle share, I wanna have somewhat of a clear head. So I like to have water when I drink. And it's just healthier. It's just better for your system to keep hydrated. Always keep hydrated, fucking do that. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment. If there's something I left out that you think should always go with you to a bottle share, please include it in the comments. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you again soon.